family welcome back to my channel and my name is Okwe Adibayo and this is my YouTube channel this channel is all about faith lifestyle and inspiration if you are new to my channel you are welcome and our topic for today is stop doubting yourself and seven ways in which we can overcome this doubt and without further ado let's dive into it what is doubt doubt is having a feeling of uncertainty about something, you know, lack of conviction about something. We can say doubt is fear, you know, doubt is being scared. But the truth is doubt is doubt. Imagine what is possible once you stop doubting yourself. A whole lot is possible once you stop nursing that fear, once you stop being scared, once you stop making excuses for yourself. A whole lot is possible. A whole lot. Chances are that sometimes we get these voices or little voice in our head that chips in these thoughts that says we are not good enough, we are not important, we do not matter, we do not have all it takes. And these thoughts takes away our full confidence and activates the doubt inside of us. That's what it does. There are things I thought I couldn't do but I did them. There are things that are challenges to me, but I overcame them. Why? Because I saw beyond those doubts. I saw beyond those fears. I saw beyond those challenges. And that is what makes the big difference. Whenever you start doubting yourself, that is when you start having this kind of questions. Questions like, what if I make a mess of myself? Questions like, what if I make a mistake? Would I make a fool of myself? Questions like, what if I fail? Questions like, what if I do not succeed in this business? Questions like, what if I do not have all it takes? The key question here is this. What makes you think that you are going to make a mess of yourself? What makes you think that you are going to make a mistake? And even if you make a mistake, there's no crime in it. That shows that there's something to learn from it. And you go back, learn what you have to learn, and get back on track. What makes you think that you are going to make a fool of yourself? If you have that kind of thought, take it away now. Take it out. What makes you think you cannot succeed in those business of yours? What makes you think those ideas are not achievable? What makes you think you cannot pass those examinations of yours? What makes you think you are not special? What makes you think you do not have all it takes? What makes you think like that? What makes you think you are a failure? You have not even failed. You have started nursing this feeling of failure and eventually you fail. It's okay, there's no crime in it. Learn your lesson and keep going. Do not dwell on it. There's nothing worth dwelling on. When you dwell on it, you get stuck. Rise up and keep going. What makes you think you are not capable of achieving all your goals and dreams in life. Why are you thinking less of yourself? Why are you shortchanging yourself? Self-doubt is very dangerous. Like I said earlier on, I have times that I do doubt myself. The one thing I do not allow is to allow those doubts to limit me. Why? Because those doubts are for the present. But I chose to see the future and that has been part of my drive. In life nowadays I see a lot of people who are skilled talented capable intelligent people you know who are selling themselves short why because of the fear doubt has planted inside of them and because of that they are comfortable with the usual way of doing things because of that they are settling for anything less and because of that they've lost confidence in themselves doubt is dangerous whereas they can do more they can become more, they can achieve more. Only if they choose to see beyond those doubts that are limiting them at the moment. You are human, you will make mistakes. Mistake comes, but the mistakes are there so as for us to learn and grow. And in order for us to succeed in life, we need to stop doubting ourselves. In order to succeed in life, you must be able to see beyond those doubts. In order to succeed in life, you must be able to take a chance on that goal of yours or dream of yours Find the courage to step up through those doubts that are limiting you and risk failing. 
that is it and another thing here is this when it comes to doubt you need to know what your identity is my own identity is in jesus christ and i know that with him i can do all things through christ that strengthens me yes i can yes i will yes i am going to do it because he is going to be with me every step of the way he is the one that defines my life defines who i am now how can we overcome doubt number one believe in yourself if you do not believe in yourself there is no how you can achieve anything not to talk of starting something if you do not believe in yourself there is no how others will believe in you there is no how others will know that you are capable of doing this believe in yourself number two believe in god trust god and pray more often spend more time in his presence when you spend more time in his presence you have a fellowship with him you have more clarity on what to do when it comes to your life that's the only place you can get the answer and consistent fellowship with him will help build your faith will help build your confidence the more you do this the more blessed the more confidence you have number three do not compare yourself with anyone look you are different i admire people a lot right but i am different from them i do not compare myself to anyone because i am specially and fearfully and wonderfully made in my own way i am unique in my own way until you understand that until you embrace that you will not be able to fully have access to everything that god has for you you need to understand that you are special to god and he is ever mindful of you he is so concerned about everything in your life he loves you you are special in your own way embrace it until you embrace that it will be difficult for you to do something successfully number four embrace positive attitude and positive mindset you can never find me where there is negativity no but you can find me in between being positive and staying positive everything all centered around positivity because i radiate positivity and everything i want around me has to be positive a positive mindset a positive attitude a positive attitude towards everything in life when you embrace a positive mindset and a positive attitude this will help you to become more exceptional in everything you do excellent in everything you do when you are positive about everything in life negativity can not stand it not to talk of coming close to you no number five surround yourself with amazing people who do you have in your circle because you become like those you have around you the people you have around you are they the people that inspire you? Are they the people that help in building your confidence? Are they the people that motivate you? Are they positive people? Are they positive people? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself. In what way have they better your life? In what way have they added value to your life? If I am in a relationship or friendship that doesn't have value to my life, that has not in any way better my life in any form, I do not stay there. I don't belong there. Number six, stop making excuses for yourself. Excuses will only cause more problems. Find that courage. Step up and start doing. Stop making excuses for yourself. Excuses will not take you anywhere. It will keep you stuck. If it is too big for you to do, break it down and take it one step at a time. While you're taking it one step at a time, you are going gradually you are moving gradually there's been a shift there's been a progress and before you know it you are looking at your results but if you keep on making excuses for yourself you will never start you will never find that courage and you will never do anything and number seven make that goal bigger than your fear when your goals or your dreams 
are bigger than your fears, this helps in building your confidence as well. Yes, you have a big goal, you have a big dream, you know, they are so big and a lot of people are like, oh, you cannot achieve this, you cannot succeed in this, this is too big for you, let's see how you will do it. Yes, that's the more reason why you should have a big goal in the first place, because the big goal itself is a threat to that fear. The more you make every effort to work on that big goal, it silences every thought of fear that you have inside of you. As long as you've started, and before you know it, you keep going. Before you know it, you keep going. Before you know it, gradually, you're looking at your result. Fear will disappear. It's all about finding that courage once again and starting and not allowing anything to stop you. Yes, there'll be challenges, there'll be distractions. Keep going. Those distractions and challenges are noises and those noises will be silenced along the line. Self-doubt keeps you stuck. And when you let go of these doubts, stop making excuses for yourself. Surround yourself with amazing people. When you stop comparing yourself with others, when you believe in yourself, when you believe in God, when you trust in God, when you have faith in God, when you pray more often, when you embrace a positive mindset and a positive attitude, you are taking a full ownership of your life and destiny. And that is all you need. That is the answer. Those voices of doubt will always come. But when it comes, please do not pay attention to it. Pay attention to the word of God. Pay attention to the life of Christ inside of you. Pay attention to the light of Christ inside of you. Pay attention to those things. Pay attention to what God says concerning you. And you know we have an assurance from God. Just as it is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. It says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. Now listen. He said, I will strengthen you, number one. Two, yes, that's an assurance. I will help you. Three, I will uphold you with my righteous end. Then what else do you need? That is all we need. And finally, it is very important for you to know your own identity in Christ because once you know your identity, there is no room for self-doubt. And when self-doubt shows up, which we always show up anytime, when fear shows up, when anything that belongs to those families shows up, and remember those are part of the tools that the devil uses to afflict the children of God. And whenever the shadow of self-doubt shows up anytime because you know your identity already. You have the power. That identity will give you the power to move that doubt from darkness to light. You can change whatever you do not want concerning your life because it has given you the power and the authority to do that. Now activate it. You can only activate it if you truly know your own identity what is your own identity and we all have come to the end of today's topic on upway inspires and if you find this topic interesting impactful in any way please leave a comment below and click the like button and you can as well use the share button and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and i will see you again with another beautiful inspiring video and until then please stop doubting yourself because you are capable of doing more becoming more and achieving more do not place a limit on yourself do not shortchange yourself stop doubting yourself thank you all for watching